Right now here I'm the central bus terminal in Islamabad and yesterday evening I tried to find a hotel to stay overnight to take the morning bus today and uh, it was impossible to find a hotel that hosts foreigners. As you can see there are hundreds of hotels but uh, all of them refused to host me. In fact, I already booked with booking.com yeah? and there was no note. In fact, the only time that happened to me was in China. They also do have like a no foreigner to uh, policy, which is really strange. So now I want to find out why is that? Yes, why they cannot host foreigners? I was walking down the streets and people were offering me to uh, stay and then they found out I'm a foreigner and I said, oh no, 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 you cannot. I looked at the hotel, yeah? Yes, but uh, you know not to host foreigners. Faisalabad, Faisalabad. Yes, only Faisalabad. Only Faisalabad. In Rabatini, it's okay. Yes, hello. Is it you from the hotel? Are you from the hotel? One away. Yes, I want to ask um, why people cannot host a foreigners in Faisalabad. Yeah, but uh, if I want to stay, can I uh, stay in the hotel? No, right? Yes. Here, do you want to talk? Yes. No foreigner, right? Yes, nice to meet you. Um, I'm from Germany. Airbnb, where are you going? Sorry? Airbnb. Airbnb? Airbnb, Airbnb, I know, I know. This is the only way. So in fact, the only way to stay in Pakistan is with Airbnb. I mean, there are hotels in Pakistan that host foreigners, but apparently many hotels just reject foreigners. Do you have a free room? Do you have, no? You don't host foreigners, right? So there apparently there are some hotels that host foreigners. Oh yes, they told me I could go to the Alwaka, but they say also no. They said no, right? No foreigners. So there are only very few hotels. They get license, or why can they host foreigners? These hotels. You need a license to host foreigners, or why? Not allowed with license foreigners. Yeah, why is it not allowed? Because you need a license. Or? Okay, no international from India. And in Indians, can Indians stay here? Only Pakistani. Only Pakistani. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. So yeah, very strange. Very strange. So I couldn't find a hotel yesterday. That was so annoying. Yes. Thank you. Yes, the hotel. Yes. Yes. All right. I need to find out. Yes. Hello. Germany, can I rest stay here? Uh, no, why? Why I cannot stay here? Why people from Germany cannot stay in the hotel? Uh, yeah, but is it only in Faisalabad? Uh, and um, in other cities like Karachi, Lahore, Multan, foreigners are okay? Uh, yeah, only in Faisalabad. Uh, well, why Faisalabad no? Why? Why? The farm is not available. What is not available? For an interview here. Yeah. Uh-huh. The farm. Okay. No issue. Oh, they didn't issue the license. Yeah. But only Faisalabad. In Rawalpindi is okay again. So only the small district of Faisalabad doesn't host foreigners. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Apparently. So apparently this only applies to Faisalbad, which is this district here. Yeah. So as you can see, so many hotels. So many hotels, but they are not allowed to host. This is the biggest hotel, right? Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Stefan. Are you from the hotel? This is yeah? bigger than this. Ah, you here from this the hotel? This. Ah, okay, I see. Do you, can I rent a room? Yes, yes. Can I rent a room? Yes. 
Okay. Oh, Arvakas. Let's go to Arvakas. I guess. Let's see here. This is the biggest hotel. Hello. Are you the biggest hotel here, right? Yeah. Yes. You're the biggest hotel in this district? Big star? The biggest hotel in this district? Yeah, no. Okay. Go to Islamabad. I see. Um, um, can I rent a room here? No. No, no. And who says that? Go to Islamabad. Yes. And why foreigners cannot stay here? Uh, local Only local people, but why is that? Do you know why? The government says so. And do you know why the government says that? Yeah, and they come to check. The, the government comes to check if foreigners stay here. And you have to pay a fine if you host foreigners. Yeah. I see. Even from India, people cannot stay here? Any people, but only Pakistani people. Only Pakistani people can stay. Wow, strange regulation. I've only saw that in China before. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. At least people are very nice and talk to me. Um, it was just super annoying because I booked the place with booking.com and uh, it was at 9 p.m. and I couldn't check in. And it's like difficult to find a place last minute. Luckily found an Airbnb, which is fine. He's also like a, a fine hotel. Let's see, let's see what they say. Hello, good morning. Do you have rooms? No rooms available? All full? All full? Oh, I see. Or well, because of foreigner. Foreigner cannot host, right? The government says no. Is it only in Faisalbad? Right. Only Fazabad, but Rawalpindi is okay, Islamabad is okay. Rawalpindi. Yeah. Islamabad. Yes, I see. So I need to go to Islamabad to find a hotel. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So yeah, the same here. Every hotel is the same. But you see, Pakistani people are very friendly. Very very friendly people. So nothing against Pakistan. It's just a strange regulation they have. Who knows what? Hopefully this video will bring something attention to the government that they change this regulation because it's a bus station, you know? There are travelers coming at night. Hello, nice to meet you. Do you speak English? What is your name? What is your name? Oh, it's money, dollar. I don't have dollar. I'm from Germany. We have euro in Germany. I don't have dollar. They all think people have dollar. I mean, yes, dollar. Many tourists bring dollars, but I don't have dollars. I don't have euros either. I only have Pakistani rupees. So, I also want to show you this crazy neighborhood. Yeah, here they have food stands, graffiti. Even here they would throw penises, although it's not allowed. Let's see, here are the stores. The clothing. Oh, hi, nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah, I want to film. Yes, good. Oh, your friend. Oh, very nice. Okay. So, yes, they have very nice clothing here as well. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. I actually shouldn't say hello. I should say salam alaikum. That's the greeting here. I always forget that. Salam alaikum. Yeah. So, oh. Very fancy, this one. It's like Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube dress. Wow. Amazing. Excellent piece. Excellent, excellent piece, yeah. Very fancy. All right. Thank you. And here, oh, toys. Oh, kids can play with the toys here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent. Ah, I see. This is your shop. Thank you. So now we're getting to the main bus terminal. Which is actually, yeah, not too big, but the shops are very big. So here, this is one place, Pfizer Movers. I don't know which is the best bus, or the opposite side. So here they have a huge ticket counter. So here, are restaurants. Yeah. 
Okay, we have some roti for breakfast. Well, yesterday was way more chaotic at night. Saturday night here was like crazy. Today on Sunday morning it's much more calm. You can even buy nuts, healthy stuff, walnuts and at good prices. But I still have some. And here's another terminal. Skyways, another bus. Yes, in Vegas. You can get the tickets. And also here. Let's try one more hotel. Actually, this is the hotel I booked. One of the biggest here, City Max. And they were so rude when they told me, no, oh, foreigners, no way. It was just the attitude and they didn't even converse. They didn't even tell me. They, don't, they didn't tell me where can I go. They just said no. No, no, no. But, uh, Hello, good morning. Do you have rooms? No rooms available? No. All full? No, no, foreigners are not allowed. Oh, foreigners. But why foreigners cannot stay here? Why, do you know what? Security. Is it dangerous here? Really? This road? Yes. Or side. Yes. What is the other side? Road side. They host foreigners? Yes, sir. Oh, the other roads that host foreigners? Yes, sir. Okay, I have to check that. Thank you very much. Wow, I have to find out. I'm looking for a hotel. Uh, hotel? Yes. Come on. Uh, but they don't host foreigners here. Uh, Saramaki. Where? Farmer's Hotel. Yes. Saramaki. Saramaki is a foreigner uh, hotel, but here the hotels don't host foreigners. Ah. This hotel. Here? Yes, yeah, the hotel. Where is it? Where is the hotel? F6. F6 is in Islamabad. Oh, only in Islamabad. It's very far. So here, there are so many hotels, you know, all hotels. No, 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 no. And nobody has foreigners here. Only the Islamabad. 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 Only no taxi. Um, as you can see, it's impossible to find a hotel in this area. So uh, just a warning to foreigners to not rely on your booking if you come late at night and might not find a place to sleep. Although people are helpful, they might recommend you hotels that host foreigners. They might be just more expensive. Therefore, I recommend Airbnb as Airbnb is uh, cheaper and uh, you see more the local life. You support the locals and uh, that's usually what I do. Yeah, also here's a crazy market just at the bus station. Oh, oh no, sorry. Wow. Crazy electronic market just at the bus station. They have everything. These super old phones, toys, clothing, jewelry. Photos. You see, nothing against Pakistan. I really love Pakistan. Friendly people, it's just some strange regulations. Another hotel. Hello. Do you have rooms? No rooms? No. Full? Oh, no room for foreigners. Why can foreigners not stay here? We are not allowed. Why the government doesn't allow? We doesn't have NOC for foreigners. Aha, NOC? What is that? It's a permission from DC's office. Ah, from the office. They didn't give permission to foreigners. Oh, that's very sad because many cheap hotels here. It's a nice area. I like it. Yeah, but I have to go to Islamabad. Take tea? Tea with you? Oh, um, no, I'm okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. Would you like to take tea with us? Oh, tea. No, not now. I want to take the bus to Peshawar. Um, yes, thank you. I think that's enough. Enough hotels to ask. It's impossible to find a bed. So, yeah. Foreigners can stay on the street, no hosting. Even Indians, though. I thought, although they're all friends, you know, they don't like Indians. Yeah, even
even chickens here at the bus station. Wish. And the smelly. Hello. So I made it to the bus. Traveling in Pakistan can be quite stressful. But it's also a great experience because amazing people are here and I just love the country. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you later in Peshawar.